Later on, in Parshas told us, it's mentioned that after Yaakov took the brachos of Esau, I'm not going to all the details, but to the bottom line, Esau came, realized that, and he asked Yitzchak to give him a bracha, and Yitzchak says to him, I could not change it. And Gvir Samtim he, he will he will be ruling, ruling over you. You, you. you must be under him. But he begged him to give him a brach. And the brach that he gave him is Ve'alchar Bechat Yichyeh. Yitzchak, speaking now to Esau. Ve'alchar Bechat Yichyeh. Ve'et Achicha Ta'avod. I'm going to give you... He gave him something, again, very interesting. Could you just picture those words and understand them? Ve'al Charbecha Tichyeh. Cherem is a sword. Sword bring death. So he told them, your source of life, you will, you will be alive when you kill. This is, this is what he got. He is a killer. He is a killer. And he get, got his essence of life when he is killing. But he told them, You could not use this sword against your brother. So later on in the history, we find that he tried to do it, to use the sword against his brother. Amalek came to the Jewish people, So here we have to uh, just mention, you know, in brief, the, the Gemara says, why the name of the place called Refidim? Because the Jewish people was weakened in the Torah. They're not, were they were not strong in the Torah. And actually it is in the bracha that Yitzchak gave to Esau. He told him, When this thing called Tarid will happen, then you'll not be under him anymore. You'll not be his servant anymore. And then you could, you could turn this sword toward him. Says Onkelos, what do you mean, what is the meaning of the al Tarid? When the children of Yaakov will not learn Torah, this is the, this is the meaning of the word Tarid, and at the time we explained how it comes from it, and Rashi explained it even better, I could not go now to the details, but when his children of Yaakov will stop learning Torah, then you allow to use this sword toward him. 